Hey, what's up everybody? This is Clayton Gonsalves with Go Analytics, and today we're talking about splitting column values inside of Power Query. So let's go. Hey, welcome to our YouTube channel. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications to stay up to date on all of our data visualization and data analysis videos. All right, so today we're talking about splitting a single column in Power Query into multiple columns using a delimiter or using the number of characters or other techniques. So let's head on over to my laptop and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so I have a query here. Uh, this is coming from the AdventureWorks database and it's essentially uh, all of our employees here. And I've got this column here called job title. And this is the column that we're gonna be working with where we're trying to split up. Uh, if you notice here, some of the job titles have this code, this WC code. And when it comes to data visualization, we would not want to display this code to our end audience. We only want to display the actual job title. So splitting this code here uh, is actually quite simple in Power Query. You can either go to transform data and then go to split column or it's even available in the home tab here um, it allows us a quick access to go to split column and when you notice uh, that when i expand this uh, button down we have several options to split this column we can split it by a delimiter by number of characters by position by lowercase to uppercase and vice versa or by digit to non-digit and vice versa so by non-digit to a digit. And what we wanna use for in this case here is by delimiter because we've got this little dash here. So we can choose by delimiter. And then we'll have this dialog box open up here and it allows us to either select a built-in delimiter or choose a custom delimiter. So if I expand this down here, you notice that we have a comma, equal sign, semicolon, space, tab, or custom. So I'm gonna choose custom. And what we wanna use for our delimiter here is going to be a dash. Now you have a couple of other options here. The first option is um, at what frequency do you want to split this by? So if you had multiple dashes, then that's when this becomes important. So if you want to just split it at the leftmost delimiter or at the rightmost delimiter or for each occurrence. So if we had three different dashes, it would actually create uh, three additional columns in our data set here for each time that Power Query encounters a dash. If we expand the advanced options here, we also have the option to split it into columns or rows, and we can limit the number of columns to split into. Power BI will try to do this automatically, but you actually can set the number of columns to split it into. So I'm gonna leave everything as default and show you what that looks like. So now if we go down here, we notice that we've got this job title dot one which was our, our original column and now we have this job title dot two which is that code after the delimiter so now we have this column here that we could use for visualization and we still maintain this code in case we need to use it in our analysis as well now splitting a column by different uh, options here is is very similar to just splitting it by the delimiter so you also have different options here. For example, if there were just a certain number of characters, so let's say uh, if we want to, to break this column up for every, every five characters would be a new column. We can set that up here and um, it'll ask us the number of characters so we can just enter five there. And again, it'll ask us how we wanna split it. So do we wanna only get the first five digits or only the last five digits, or like I said before, if we choose repeatedly, then every five characters is going to become a new column. So let's take a look at what that looks like. 
And as you notice here, of course, this doesn't make sense. So this is just for, uh, for demonstration purposes. But as you notice here, it created uh, six additional columns here. And every, at every five characters, it split that up. So we had our job titles here and they were split at every five characters for us here. So that's it. That's how you can split a column in Power Query. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, be sure to hit the like button and we'll see you in the next video.